This game's a fucking joke. Seriously, making a game based off the first Terminator movie should be an interesting concept. The movie has some film noir, action, science fiction, time travel, and even romance all combined into one. And it's a perfect mix for my favorite Schwarzenegger movie. But waiting eight years later after the original film was released, that's when the Terminator franchise was rising from the ashes from the awesome sequel. But when that happened, out would come the NES version. Oh yeah, it's so bad. Now seeing it nowadays, you might be traumatized. But don't worry, I'm gonna dive into this pile of junk and terminate it from the inside out. Nah, it's too dark. Let's just play the fucking game. So by looking at the title screen, the game is made by Mindscape. That's not a good sign because they've also made Paperboy. It's a classic video game to play, so now I'm really nervous about this. So from what I understand is that you're not the Terminator, which is a good sign. You're Kyle Reese from the future trying to go back to the past and prevent history from being altered. Ugh, alright, let's just start this off with a small thing. The graphics looks fucking ugly. Yes, for an early 90s game, I would expect something better. The major colors of this game is just black and green. It's like something you see in a Game Boy game. So upsetting. Now, do I want to talk about the controls? God, jeez, they're fucking busted. Let me clarify. To jump, you press B. That's pretty shitty already. And what's worse, Kyle goes into a crouch animation before he jumps. Making this the most delayed jump I've ever seen in any game I've played. Now, obviously, shooting the gun is with the A button, but when that happens, he goes into an immediate halt and crouches. Shooting the gun is just fucking awkward. The only way you shoot the gun is when you're standing still. You can't shoot while you're standing, can't shoot while you're jumping, and you can't shoot while you're moving. So this game gives you the stupidest limit to when or where you have to shoot your gun. Did the game designers ever play fucking Contra? The music pukes my ears. Don't believe me? Here, have a listen. Unbelievable, it does rate my ears to oblivion. The only enemies we have in this game were obviously Terminators. They have both skeleton and skin Terminators, and they could go down with a simple gunshot. But the biggest smash in the nuts in this game is that there's no continues. That is shit. If you make it very far and you die close to the end, you're down for the count. And don't even think about it, there is no continue code for this game. Not even Game Genie can help you out. That is the lowest bottom of the barrel. If the Game Genie doesn't help you, you know you're fucked. Now let me talk to you about the worst glitch in the entire game. You fall through the platforms. I mean, if your feet hit the far corner instead of dead center, you're going through. Have you ever seen a game be that picky? This is just raping my mind. So the only way to last longer in this entire shitload of fuck is to waste time and get as many lives as you want. Well, every 50,000 points, you do get an extra life. But now, why in the holy mother of fucking shit should I waste my time to last longer in this game? Now, of course, I'm not talking about emulators or save states. No, 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 no. This is old school way of playing a game. Sitting on a chair or a couch right in front of your TV, holding the A button. Sounds fun, right? Well, I know a little nerd trick that can help you out. Get yourself a wrench or some pliers, something like this. Clamp it right onto the A button. And there you go. That's all I have to do. Just sit around and do nothing. I'll be back. Alright, I'm up to six lives already. Great, so now I'm gonna have to go to sleep, and once I wake up, it's gonna be all maxed out. Yeah, now that's a good idea. But wait a minute, I have a better programming idea. How about passive fucking continues? Seriously, you really want me to put pliers right on the NES controller? That's just stupid. But that's what happens when you play old school. Killing that way on their tradition. Alright, I'm back, more refreshed, and I 
I'm ready to play some more Terminator. Let's take a look at my life count. My life count is six. I only have six? That's all I get? Okay, whoever programmed this game really hated kids. In other games I ever played, it only goes up to nine, but it still counts that you have more lives to collect. But why a random number like six? Seriously, the program should go die in a fire pit. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Fucking idiots. Now, while I was out of the sewer, I actually noticed that you could use grenades to kill the machine guns that are stopping your progression. But the only problem is that you can only find grenades in the sewers. But then once you run out of grenades, you're far past fucked. The next part is the stupid driving sequence. I just don't have any idea to find a way to avoid these missiles coming at me. All it's gonna do is gonna drain my lives away. Then we got this metal catastrophe, which is pretty easy to destroy. I just have to aim my gun right at him and there I go, I beat him. So we get to the final stretch of this level. Yes, this entire thing is one whole level. Now, do you see what happened to all those extra lives? Gone! Well, that's not gonna help me out anymore because this room is so annoying and I finally figured out about the jumping problem. That's because if you land on your feet, it will never count. You have to land on a space in between your feet. That is how picky this game is. I have never seen another game go like that. And it's also teeth grinding to make those jumps perfect. Alright, finally, I made it to the time machine! Now that we're in 1984, Kyle has to go find Sarah Connor, and the main problem is once you're here. Your gun is gone. There goes the fun now, and everything has to come and kill you. This is the most annoying thing I've ever witnessed in a video game. Come on, I gotta get through! No! All my hard work gone! Kill my fucking dog! Kill my fucking dog! That's it! I've had enough! You're terminated, fucker! Oh my god! I can't believe a game like that was released on the NES as late as 1992! And that is just senseless! By then, the Super Nintendo was the current console. You know... Speaking of the Super Nintendo, let's take a look at that version. So yeah, we got Terminator on Super Nintendo. Like the NES version, this one is made by Mindscape. Good God help me. Well, for starters, they did recreate the title sequence from the movie, but the music is just the final battle, not the actual Terminator theme. Is it really hard to put the Terminator theme in the video game? Ah, forget it, let's just play this. Okay, so this game is completely different instead of a graphical upgrade from the NES version. Now that's a start. Again, you're Kyle Reese, outside in the battlefield instead of the sewers. Well, in fact, I gotta say that this is a little better than the other one. I gotta say the gun shooting is way better in this one. But instead, you only shoot in three directions again. I don't know why, Contra is the only game series I've known to do such a thing that is perfect. And what's worse, that there are some enemies on the ground. Now that is just pathetic. If you can't shoot the ground, don't have enemies there! Not to mention the fact that the foreground graphics hides them too well. Now that's bullshit! Well, thankfully you have five lives to start off in this game. But once they're gone, that's right, no continues. It doesn't matter anyway, this game is too fucking hard. I keep getting hit by every possible angle. That ain't fair for the players. That movie is so unrealistic. There is no way that Kyle and John could ever survive this mess. Yeah. Come on! Uh, 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 uh. There I go, so I die. Like anyone could. Game over, the level is so fucked up, the game is impossible. Now, I heard that Sega has better Terminator games, but I don't have any of them in my possession. But once I do, I will take care of them. Better be better than this piece of shit.
So here on out, the Terminator franchise will go to higher ground. Because we all know that the sequel is way better than the original. So, uh, does the games ever accomplish with the movie? You'll find out soon.